माझ्या नवऱ्याने टाकल हाय माझ्या बाळाला खायाला नाय बाला भी मी जड झाल या आता जाऊ कुठाय मी जाऊ कुठाय ठाव नाय मी जगू कशाय ठाव नाय मी जगू कशा नेव्हर माइंड वे यू कम फ्रॉम नेव्हर माइंड वॉट युअर फेथ ऑर रिलिजन इज कम शेअर युअर पेन hold my hand and pull yourself up come on in there's always room for one more it was in the year 1991 when sister lucy was working at hope that a woman 7 months pregnant approached her for help afraid that her husband was going to kill her so that he could bring in another woman into the house unable to do anything that evening sister lucy asked her to come the next day the day never dawned for the woman her husband killed her that night along with the fetus after this incident i was very sad and upset i wanted to run away from this cruel world it was at that time i met father francis disa and he suggested to me instead of running away stay and do something for this type of women We needed urgently to create a home for abused and traumatized women who could find a place where they felt secure, cared for and wanted, irrespective of religion, caste or social status. This was the need of the hour. Out of this need, Maher was born in 1997. Mahir means mother's home in Marathi which is the local language it represents the warmth love and care of a real mother's home the first house was built in Vadu Badruk a village on the outskirts of Pune to serve as a refuge for women in distress women who are ill treated and thrown out of the house by their spouses and in-laws widows shunned by both parents and in-laws and mothers with infants and young children with nowhere to go mahir is a home where through sheer love understanding and caring distressed women from rural india are given hope and the right to a better life a life of dignity respect and love mahir's objective is not merely to shelter these women but more importantly to rehabilitate them either by reconciling them with their families or training them in various vocations so that they can stand on their own feet and not have to be dependent on anyone it took mahir quite a while to establish its credibility but with the committed perseverance of the team people began to look at mahir positively and as news of the work being done spread more and more battered and destitute women came to maher for shelter and a new life with the women came children to look after these children maher decided to open homes for the children too however not all the children at maher came along with their mothers some are orphans while others come from families too poor to bring them up No efforts are spared in creating a secure and happy environment for the children. Every child is a child of Maher and gets the love and warmth not from just one set of parents but from all the adults at Maher. The children are sent to government run schools or national open school for a formal education. The children's strengths and abilities are identified and these are channeled towards some form of extracurricular activity. With so many children around, no opportunity is lost to have fun. 
The fun and joy in Mahir's celebrations helps in getting rid of the trauma, the anguish and sufferings of their bitter past. The nutritious vegetarian diet. Though simple, it is planned by a dietitian and prepared with love and care. Mahir is also dedicated to establishing clean and healthy environments. Accordingly, growing and harvesting of organic foods, use of non-polluting solar energy, recycle waste, vermiculture and biogas is the norm. Maher was only created to help victims of a situation. What was needed was to change the mindset of the people who put women in these situations. This was done through various awareness programs that help villagers understand their rights, duties, responsibilities and place in society and to unite and stand up to unscrupulous landlords and moneylenders. By July 2007, over 1,200 women and 940 children have been through the Maher experience and have come out brimming with self-confidence and happiness. Today, Maher, with over 122 employees, has its presence in over 90 rural communities around Pune. There are 21 balwadis or kindergartens, 3 tuition classes, 17 bal sadans, 2 creches and close to 178 self-help groups. Maher is managed by a board of trustees that includes doctors, counsellors and social workers. All that Maher has achieved would not have been possible without the constant help of friends of Maher. Their generosity comes in the form of money, goods, services or just the time spent for Maher. Our heartfelt thanks to each one of them. Maher has indeed come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1997. The immediate plans of Maher would require a sum of approximately 13 million rupees or roughly $290,000. More importantly, there's a huge task awaiting us. The task of changing the attitude of society, especially of men, towards women. This is a gigantic task. Mahir is therefore not just a project, it is a vision. Vision of a new society where men, women and children have opportunities for growth, education and happiness. Mahir.